video to remind all the old farts out there to get ready for retirement. Yeah, I know. Everybody just tuned out and they went away. And that's totally fine. Right? It may not be a nuclear blast that's going to end your career. Fallout is all the rage right now, so all my references are Fallout. Also, I love it. Anyway, yeah, here's the ARP ad. <laughs> Subscribe today. <laughs> Use it as a fly spotter. Um, I promise there's a point. So you're getting ready to like stop working someday, you know, like me. So I'm, so let me, this is like, this is under hashtag life skills for, you know, and instead of adulting, we'll call it senioring. How about that? Can we make a new hashtag? Hashtag senioring. And there are a number of things that I did not know that I am immediately going to share with you. Some of the most important, ones, which we were just talking about over coffee. And I thought I got to put this, I got to put this in a video. I got to put this in a video for all those old people watching this and all those young people who have no idea how to be an adult, let alone be an old person. So get ready. Guess what? You're not going to be able to work someday. And at least as of 2024, there's still social security. Now there probably won't be by the time you're old. Don't be depressed. It's better than a nuclear bomb, but you know, you'll have to manage your, yourself. You'll have to build up your skills. You have to build up your money and stuff. So we were joking. We were joking about, about, you know, the older I get, the more I'm like a whore to the enterprise and I will do whatever it takes to make more money. And there is a reason it's not just because I'm greedy. I mean, I would like something without a popcorn ceiling, you know, and uh, I don't want to go there, but, um, so I am not without greed. We'll say besides greed is good, right? I learned that in the 1980s, everybody was saying it and I'm a child of the eighties. So therefore, What does it say? What does it say? What does it say? Study hard and earn more. So, so be like a Chinese person. <laughs> There's a point. Okay, here's the point. Here's the main tips. As you age, make sure you maintain your health. Number one, maintain your health. And I don't know if you can see this new, you know, swelt, beautiful Rob, but this guy is not the same guy that was streaming and YouTubing uh, two years ago. And I, if you can't tell, I'm a lot happier, uh, you know, and all those things. So number one, watch your health. And I mean it, if, especially if you're in tech. Don't let it go down and think you can bring it back. You can't. It's very hard. There are certain organs that don't recover. So I'm not going to harp on that. You, I, you probably know this already. I'm telling you the number one thing that you need into old age is you need good health. If you don't have good health, screw the rest you'll be you'll be sucking down drugs and paying out the you know wazoo and going on pharmaceutical tourism and getting procedures done in other countries because they're too expensive here just the best thing you can do to have a great old age is maintain your health throughout your whole life number one i mean that goes without saying i'm saying it anyway number two make sure maintaining as many positive relationships as you can get as many positive relationships as you can and that includes your, you know, people that you're married to and, you know, friends in your community. And honestly, your live stream, all of these crazy people, you know, um, all these 80, all these crazy people, including this random new person who just made a comment about communism. Who I don't even know who they are. I'm just sad they're I'm just happy they're here. We've got a lot of, you know, we they my community, my Twitch community keeps me laughing my ass off. Keep somebody in your life that's keeping you laughing and it's helping you stay, uh, you know, ward off uh, the natural depression that occurs when anybody is just aware of their surroundings and their condition, which if you had talked to me yesterday, last night, I went through some rather major depression, uh, having just gone to this amazing art auction and, you know, with my wife and then also uh, watching Kevin, uh, meeting Kevin, uh, the toothless bro, Kevin, I'm here for you. And it's clipped, by the way, please make sure you watch Kevin's clip. Kevin wrote a poem about homelessness and you know that 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 separation can cause a person to be very depressed so having people in your life that 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 help you laugh and and love and and forget and that there are bad things and remember that there are good things i guess you don't have to forget you just have to allow yourself to, to have so that's it's the first one's health the second one is good relationships so that you can you know keep a lot of reduced stress in your life and that's that's those are kind of all of this is sort of related to stress but but now let's talk about the financial things all right. So the third thing is keep your skills up, keep your skills up, just like your 
that means even if you think you're God's gift to the tech world, you still have more to learn. And especially in tech, there is stuff going on all the time. You have to keep cycling through. You have to learn it, right? Make sure you are keeping your skills up. I cannot tell you how many times I have talked with people that I deeply respect and they say, I don't want to go anywhere else uh, because I'd have to learn new things. By the way, that happened mostly while I was at IBM. And if you want to hear me rant about how IBM kills everything, it's largely because that's where things go to die, including humans. It's very sad. It's very sad. People go over there. They think they got they don't need to learn anymore. They're too tired. They're like, I don't want to learn anything else. And, um, and so IBM is now dying. Yeah. Uh, we've been saying IBM has been dying since the 70s. That's a separate video. Go watch how IBM is going to kill HashiCorp. If you want to watch that, I talk about my own personal experience, having worked there for mo almost 10 years. Um, but anyway, so keep your skills fresh. Beginner mind, if you want to call it that, you know, you've always got something to learn. And, you know, if you're authentic with yourself, there's no way you can keep every, all your skills fresh all the time. So keep learning. Learning is a positive experience. I personally believe learning is the purpose of life. That's, that's my personal belief. My personal belief, religion aside, is that the number one thing you can do while you are mortal is learn. And I personally believe that, that that plays well with pretty much every religious practice on the planet, whether you think you're going to come back again as a gnat, um, hopefully not a gnat, maybe something better, you know, uh, or you're, you're not, you're, you know, you're going to achieve some celestial glory because you, you know, prayed to the right God. What, whatever you believe, I do believe that all of those traditions have one thing really core in common, that the purpose of life, largely, if not completely, is to learn. And so keep learning, keep learning, keep learning, keep learning, no matter how old you are, no matter how much you think. And by the way, that, you know, words off Alzheimer's or half Alzheimer's, whichever one you end up getting. And so let's talk about the more boring ones, the, the ones that actually prompted this video. Uh, prepare financially. And is, this is something that I am like not doing well. I'm just going to tell you right now. I tried to start a company. By the way, don't do that. Don't start a company. Bad idea. Bad idea, especially in America. Do not, it, when you think you're going to do the right thing and you think, oh, hey, I can start a company and I'll save the world. Don't do it. I'm telling you right now, don't start a company. From my personal experience, I am still financially completely strapped from financing my own company and starting it with my own retirement money. And it was a huge mistake. I love what I did, but I would have done it another way. Had I had it to do all over again, I would have done it another way. I would have continued to work for a corporation of some kind or uh, and gotten all the great health insurance. I, I worked for close to eight years with no health insurance for me or my family because America. Um, and I don't want to get into a fight about whether I could have bought insurance or not. It, unless you have tried to start a company and run it yourself, I don't want to talk to you about that topic because it's very sensitive to me. It makes me very angry because the whole idea of American entrepreneurialism is everybody can just start their dream and do it. It's a bunch of bullshit. Don't do it. Don't put yourself in financial risk and your family in risk by trying to start your own company unless somebody is like throwing you know 40 million in seed capital in a, in a fang company in silicon valley and if they are doing that there's a good chance that either you or the people giving you the money don't have a soul so you're not really my target audience <laughs> okay i'm joking i'm joking you probably have a wonderful soul okie dokie vault tech um I mean, the people of Altec had souls, obviously. They had to have souls in order for their brains to remain working after all those years. And here's the, here's the money. Here's, the, here's where the money comes up, okay? And this is a very specific detail for America. So the rest of it applies pretty much all over the place. But this one is for America, and this is something I really hate. But it, it's the source of my joke. This is... When I say that I'm a hoard of the enterprise and I would easily and happily go work making five times the money coding Java of all things, which is, by the way, what I did. I left Nike.com, a great job at Nike.com, to make double the money coding Java for IBM and then never ended up writing a single line of Java for IBM because the bubble burst and the whole thing collapsed. And if you want to see, see what I think about how to survive the collapse of tech, which happens at regular intervals, there's a video about that. Go watch that. How to survive the cycle of tech boom and bust. And if, if, if there's one thing, you know, that's, that's, that's true, you know, that's it. 
the, the, there's going to be a bubble and it's going to burst and how are you going to survive? And, and you need to know how to survive that. That's a separate skill, separate video. Go watch that. So, and I, I do know that they will pay more money for that. So why would I, why would I be willing to prostitute myself to a big enterprise, uh, tyrannical corporation to quote Chomsky and, um, dictatorship, I should say. Chomsky says that all enterprises are, are, are um, dictatorships and that, and that anybody who has a job in America is actually living under tyrannical rule from, from uh, an organization that decides what they can do, when they can do it, where they can do it, how they can get health care. And he's not wrong. He's a very controversial figure. Also the author of The Dragon Book, um, if you know about comp compilation stuff. Anyway. Uh, bringing up Noel Chomsky is going to get hate in the comments. People either love him or hate him. Um, understand him. So, so I've sold myself out. My sold sold my soul to get a corporate job, which I already did. Uh, I'm working for a company you would definitely know. Please do not name my company if you know where it is. Um, and um, I'm and I'm happy. I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to accept it from work from the inside. And how? But financially, why would I do such a thing? Number one, because that's where I'm getting my insurance. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. In America, if you want good insurance, you have to work for a good company. The end. The end. Do I like it? No. That is true. If you are not working for a good company, you do not have good insurance. And, you know, I love what they've tried to do with the Affordable Care Act. I think it's fantastic. Is it anywhere near the insurance that I would get through my corporation? Hell no. It's not even close. You think that's bad? Try to get insurance. Try to get insurance out there being your own private enterprise. The lobbyists who control how the money gets put into the healthcare system are coming from corporations and healthcare systems that are all in bed with each other. They do not want some startup being able to survive without help, you know, with really awesome healthcare on the on par with them. It's competitive. It's too competitive. My God, we would have, oh, I don't know. We'd have rampant innovation. People would be starting companies all over the place and putting serious challenges to these monopolistic corporations that are lobbying the government. Sounds like a fallout episode. <laughs> so, okay. And, and really the, 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 really the main, main, main one is social security. So this is something that I did not know. This is something I did not know my entire life, and this is the primary catalyst for this video. Your Social Security, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I got lots to learn here, your Social Security is based on the total amount of money you have earned per year for something like six to, six to eight to 10 years or something like that. It doesn't matter the number of years. You can go look it up. They may even change it from year to year. But the point is, the amount of money you collect per month is based on an average over the last five to 10 years. I don't remember the exact one. And they take the average income of you and your spouse during that time. And, and, and so here is the major takeaway from this video. And so many people will have skipped and they will not have even seen this part of the video. And it's really sad because this is the key. The key is do not slowly fade out you need to go out with a fucking bang financially because the more money you make in those final years, the more money they give you for free. I'm sorry, the more of your own money you've been paying into the system, they give you back per year until you die. And the first year you can claim, I think Social Security is 62 and you have to take something like a, a 30 or 40 percent loss but you get to retire by 62. There's actually another great YouTuber who talks about financial issues and, and he recommends, um, and I'll let you make your own decision. Obviously he recommends that you retire as early as possible. Uh, that the time is much more valuable, uh, than the money that they, because they try to financially incentivize you to stay until 65, which is the official age or until whatever. If you, if you wait until you're like 70 and you survive that long, then they even give you more money, right? It's like, oh, you can get more money. And the argument from, from this person um, is that the time, the time is far more valuable than the money. And that includes the ability to make money. So I don't know what the cap is on that. I need to look that up. That's something I need to look up. But um, 
So the, the main takeaway from this, among all those other things about aging and being prepared for aging, but the, the main reason is work hard. Work hard and make a lot of money in your last years before you retire. And I personally would add to that, retire early. I'm going to retire at 62, which is in five years or so. Um, and even though, so what we need to do now is figure out how much money I can make while retired. And I have a feeling that, that even though I'll be retired, I can still make, I don't know, we have to, I have to do the math. I have to do the math to see if, you know, if I can keep this job and, and, you know, still do the minimum of the job. And, and I don't believe in, you know, coasting. That's, that just don't, I don't believe in that. Um, so if I stay on as an, as an old fart uh, for the company that I'm working for now, I still want to be productive, um, even if I need an extra nap, <laughs> because my brain doesn't work as well. I'm sorry to have to say that, but it's true. That's why I drink coffee. That's actually one reason. Did you know coffee is objectively, scientifically proven to enhance endurance performance? Hey, Mormons. Never mind. Uh, I'm going to hell. I'm going straight to coffee hell. Because I'm drinking coffee. Anyway, so that's the takeaway. The takeaway is retire making the most money you possibly can because your salary is going to dictate how much money you get paid in Social Security. The end. That's the main thing. I could have done that whole video in like 30 minutes or 30 seconds or 60 seconds. But I've learned that that I've learned to be a good YouTuber and to save the best part for very the very end and to push it out as far as you can. So you get this big, long video. How am I, how am I doing? Am I a good YouTuber? I'm trying to be a good YouTuber. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I want to read the comments right now. I'm going to try to take a couple of comments before we close down this video. Retirement age is 67. Thank you, Akip Tip. Happy is our Akip Tip is our is our um, Mr. Handy, giving us facts all the time. Life expectancy is 78. Retirement age is 67. Work for 50 years and maybe enjoy 11. Uh, start enjoying life now. No one is guaranteed tomorrow. This is definitely true. Uh, again, that's one of the reasons help is, you know, stay out till you're 90. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Lots of good comments there from the peanut gallery, which I have very courageously left in the video. Um, I don't even check them sometimes. Probably should. I probably should start checking those. Anyway, here's to long life. Study hard. Make money. And don't quit until you quit. Bye.